So if you'd like to add a countdown timer to your unbounced landing pages, this is going to be the perfect video for you. While it's not an official feature, there is a way to make it work and it's actually pretty simple and I'm gonna show you all the steps where you can follow along with me. So a while back in the community, all the way back in 2017, someone posted this, I tested it out myself and it works. Keep in mind it says you are entering developer territory. This is not an official unbounced feature. However, it does work and I will put the links down below so you can follow after, you know, where you can copy and paste it. But first, let's get started with the steps and I'll walk you through exactly what you need to do. It's pretty easy when you have steps to actually follow. So create this new text element with the default text. Style this text to your liking. So let's copy this. I'm just going to do control C. Okay, now let's go to our page where we want to put it. This is just a default template. Uh, this is something where, you know, it could be some type of sale. Let's take our text. Let's drag it right here. What I'm going to do is double click this. I'm going to paste it in there. Okay. We can format this, you know, any way you want. Uh, this looks really big and really yellow and, and kind of hard to read. So uh, what's a better color? Let's see. Black. Okay. It's at least better to see for this example. Okay. So we've done that. Okay. Style that text to your liking. Now what you want to do is double click on this new text box and click view source. So double click and then let's click on the view source button. So far so good, right? Wrap the innermost text with a new span tag with an ID timer. It should look like this, okay? So this is the new text <clears throat> that we've created. What we need to do is find that in our JavaScript and add this before it right here. So let's copy this or highlight it and copy. Now let's find the zero, zero days or wherever we put. So right here, <clears throat> we're gonna paste that right there, okay? Now we can go back here. Let's highlight and copy the span end tag, copy that. And let's put it right after the sex part, <laughs> S-E-C-S, -E okay, not the other one. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, okay. Step three, copy the JavaScript snippet and paste it in your JavaScript section with placement before body end tag, okay. So this is actually the latest script here. So I clicked on that, it's open in a new window. Uh, the top one right here is what we're gonna be copying. So if we start right here before the script where it starts and scroll down right to there, let's copy this. For me, it's Control-C, depending on what you're using for a computer, but for me, it's Control-C. Uh, let's click Done on this, okay? And now what we wanna do is go to JavaScripts, as it talked about. We're going back here. So it says copy the JavaScript snippet and paste it in your JavaScript section with placement before body end tag. So we can give this a name, let's just say like countdown timer. Okay, and it also said before body end tag right here. It's already on that right there. Let's paste that in here and let's hit done and cool. Now it's gonna actually say something like, uh, the day has finally come. I'm just gonna, you know, like save. I forgot what it, it's in the script, it says it, but let's preview it and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, there we go, the day has arrived. That's what it says whenever, you know, the countdown is done. Let's hit back. We can change that too, because we wanna filter when this is going to be happening. So let's go to our JavaScript, <clears throat> countdown timer. Okay, so this is where we wanna edit the date, okay? And also you can change around this, like the day has arrived, like the day is here. This is where you would, um, it says right here, displays when countdown is complete. So you can keep that if you want, just make sure you change whatever is right here, okay? And, or pretty much this is what you'd wanna change, okay? If you wanna edit that part. This is the important part. This is going to be the date where it counts down to. So I'm just gonna put like uh, 22, seeing it's still in the future, hit done. Let's save and then preview. Okay, so as you can see, now it's going to be correct because it's gonna be 59 days from the time I'm creating this, okay? So overall, that's how you're gonna be adding a countdown timer. I know it's a little uh, flashy, like it's not a perfect way of doing it, but it does get the job done, which is always great. As always, I will put the links down below in the description when it comes to this a specific article if you want to read more about it and of course to get to the script this will be in there as well so you can follow along so i hope that helps you out if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below but that is how you can add a countdown timer to your unbounced landing pages enjoy